Hello YouTube fans, it's TribuD44 with another uh, video today. Uh, today's kind of a bittersweet video. Uh, I think it's been three or four weeks ago I did a, uh, this is going to be the client build number three, the Texas build, and I had all the components laid out, and uh, I've gotten several questions about, hey, when are you going to do the final video? Well, here it is, so to speak. It's not 100% complete because I've been running into issues and what I'm running into issues with is right here. The Revo Drive X2 the, from OCZ that uh, was supposed to be awesome. Uh, when I first did the video and people knew I was going to be building a workstation with it, I got many, many, many questions from uh, people on YouTube that said, hey, I've been reading the Revo Drive does not work with the SR2. The Revo drive does not work with the SR2. And so I set out to the desert, you know, trying to find what information I could. And most everywhere I went showed that you could not use the OCZ Revo drive X2 as the boot drive with the EVGA SR2 motherboard. And so I worked on it probably off and on probably 15 hours. And I was able to get it to work. I mean, you got to go through a step-by-step -step process. You got to start off in RAID mode in the BIOS, and then you have to do a handoff to AHCI mode. Uh, you have to have everything disconnected. So I'm going to actually do a video on how to do that. But after I got it installed and got everything working, I decided I need to go ahead and overclock it. So I overclocked it successfully. I tested the computer with four monitors because the client that uh, bought the computer. He said he needs it to work for monitor. So I got it completely set up at a friend's house where he has many uh, monitors. And so I brought it back to the house here and it, it remained unplugged in my computer room for about three or four days. And so sat there unplugged. So this morning I got up to do the video. So I hooked it up as you can see right here. Turned it on and this is what happened. Let me show you what happened. Okay, I'm turning it on right now. Let me go ahead and get you all close over here. And I'm going to go over the build here in just a few minutes. But I want to show everyone what it's actually doing when it loads up. There's the Revo drive there, which that looks right. It is the boot drive, so that is working right now. There is the serial ATA3 for da data storage. There's Windows logo. So I'm getting ready to do the video. Hook the computer up. I think it's going to be just a normal video and everything's going to work. and. I'll be able to get this uh, computer to the client and he'll be happy. Well, now as you can see here, it's doing check disk with that, which that's new. This didn't happen when I first turned it on. Uh, that's interesting. So, this is something new. So, let's let it complete here and see what it does. Okay, now we're going to restart. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, when I first turned it on uh, this morning to do the video, I did not get the uh, check disc, uh, so that's something new. Okay, there's the Revo drive again. There's the starting Windows logo. Okay, that looks normal enough, right? Okay, let me go ahead and get the camera in close. Okay, here's a picture of the desktop. And this is what I got when I first started. As you can first tell, you know, this is not the uh, 
arrow from Windows 7. It looks like the old Windows XP. And so when I first got this error, I thought, well, it says C Windows System 32 Config System Profile Desktop refers to a location that is unavailable. It could be on a hard drive on this computer or a network. Check to make sure that the disk is properly inserted or that you're connected to the internet or the network and then try again. And so let me go ahead and zoom in on that error message there. I think you all will be able to read that when I get the video done. Okay, so I thought, well, let me go ahead and get it back to Arrow. So I acknowledged that, went down here to personalize and see what it says. It says the page failed to load. And I'm, I thought, great, something's wrong. So I go to the control panel and I'm thinking, well, I'll try to do it maybe a system restore. And I go down here to back up and restore. Page failed to load. So I mean, the operating system is corrupted. That's what it is. It's corrupted. So if I go down here to computer, I get that same window when this brings. Right here is the uh, the Revo drive. It's the C drive, 894 gigabytes. That is the Windows drive. So it is actually booting off of it. And here are the two uh, one terabyte serial ATA two hot swappable drives. And here is the serial ATA three two terabyte. Uh, drive for storage on the computer that's not hot swappable. And then there's the two uh, uh, SUS uh, Blu-ray drives. So there is obviously a problem. It occurred because I had the computer unplugged without power for approximately three or four days. That should not happen. The Revo drive, right here, this nice little Revo drive for $3,500, uh, it's non-volatile -vol memory, so if you don't have any power to it, it shouldn't lose, uh, it shouldn't lose the data that's on it. And I've been reading on the internet where some people have lost data like that. So what I, what my plans are, I've talked with the client. He wants me to continue on trying to get it to work. Since I think I got the hard part done, I got the boot off the drive. I think we may actually have a bad Revo drive because whether we can get it to work with the SR2 or not the file should not have been corrupted because it didn't have power for a few days. So that is what I'm going to be looking into. So that's why this video is kind of a bittersweet video. I wish I could have it boot up and it be 100% working. It is not. But the good part of the video is going to be go over the, the build and the hardware and uh, the actual computer. So let's go ahead and get started on that.